been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city life Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand what we found. It's like a sandy beach. But you bring your car down on it. <laughs> We're up. Yeah. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in. I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Ooh. Ooh. Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Yeah, we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand You do, you do have to pay to get here. Black Rock Sands. Is that what it is? Yeah. Look, I'm just going to go park there looking at the sea, shall I? Yeah. Uh, not, not in front of them. The fiver to park here. And he said we can come and go all day. We can't stay here overnight, which is fine. But, there we go. It says park in designated areas and be mindful of the tide. Mindful of the tide. Designated mm -hmm. areas? Is this a designated area? Yeah. I guess you can see, like, that's not a parking place. Where the seaweed is. <laughs> do. Oh, look. We had to pay a fiver. Didn't really want to do that, but this, the sat nav showed us that it was a through road and we were just going to drive past the beach. Go for a little paddle. I hope there's a signal here. Good <laughs> this then. B, you see this jellyfish? Never. Is that a jellyfish? You've never seen a jellyfish? Only in like, um, I can see it. Only in, I see that in No, that's a jellyfish. Yeah. <laughs> never seen one on the beach though. Always seen them stinging my legs, the bastards. Come up! <laughs> no, I'm pregnant woman. <laughs> Not a very nice day for it. It's not raining right now. Oh, it is raining, but who cares? It's spitting. It's cold! I had to, I told you, didn't I? I had to save someone the other day. Yeah. 
if you're watching, <laughs> I'm glad it all worked out. And that water was cold. <laughs> it's actually not that cold. It's not that cold, is it? Do you think it is? I was in the beach the other the sea the other day, um, where is it? Uh, Portsmouth, and it was probably colder than this when I was going in, and it was a hot day. Sort of castle on uh, old castle over there. All right, you got to do some work, ain't you? So I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, build some sand castles, and you're gonna <laughs> do some work. No, we're not in a rush. Stay here till we've done your work, and then we can go to one of my pretty park ups. Damn, why do kids have to come and graffiti and ruin this awesome little cave? I don't know how far it goes. Do you want to go have a look? Yeah. Need a torch. I bet. Have you got a torch? No. Here, I'll take my phone. I know better than Becca. We've seen too many scary films with caves. Did I scare you? It doesn't go I scared you, did I? <laughs> I saw you jump. It doesn't go anywhere. Oh, okay. It's just a litter thing. A what thing? People have just left loads of litter. Oh, so disgusting, isn't it? What a beautiful find, hey? Real random, I love this. We just picked, clicked on a map really randomly. And uh, yeah, I love the things you find. Yeah, we just thought we were going, uh, following a road around. We are actually looking for somewhere for you to work, weren't we? Yeah. Somewhere pretty with a bit of maybe a sea view and so Becca can do a little bit of work. And we found this beach. beach. Very nice. Go for crabs. Well, you said they were probably rock crawling down. Well, yeah, because look, that's a, a crab claw thing right there. So they probably do crab in here. Jelly. Look at them all. Yeah, these are all jellyfish, aren't they, guys? Let me know. I'm pretty sure they are. They've all been washed up. There are so many of them. Look, that one's been flipped upside down. Look at these weird jelly things. Jellies. I think I'm pretty sure they're jellyfish, but they're everywhere. Everywhere. Maybe I'm being stupid. I'm pretty sure they're jellyfish. There's loads of them. There you go, look, there's one flipped upside down here. This one's upside down and it's got all its gubbins in the air. Ugh. And that one. How weird. So many, I've never seen, never seen so many. Wow, there's one in the water there. Uh, is he dead as well? No movement from him. You have to get stuck here when the tide goes out again. Yeah, well, it's very shallow, isn't it? So they probably get yeah. caught out quite a lot. Look at them all. Yeah. This, they're weird in the sea, but they do look more graceful in the sea than <laughs> dead on the beach. Look at these cliffs, how black, is that why it's called black what? Uh, is it black rock sands? Yeah, something like that. Black rock sands, that's why. This is awesome. The colours in there. Colours in that. Well, watch me walking. Jellyfish everywhere. Yeah. Mega cave. Look at all the colours on those walls.
Wow. It's mental when you think that the water has done all this. Yeah. And over the years, it's carved out these huge caves. Can I see daylight in there, or is that just me? It's a ref shiny reflection back there. That's a massive cave, that one. Well, it would do if you got closer, further in. Echo! But yeah, look, the jellyfish here as well, because it comes all the way in. Yeah. It is miserable weather, it is drizzly, it is cold, but we don't care because we're in the middle of nowhere in Snowdonia National Park. We have been at this spot a few times before. I first found it with my parents when we did uh, Wales and Scotland in 2019. Then my wife came back here uh, last year and it was snowing uh, and we're back here again in 2021. Woo, it's freezing! Zero signal here, except if you walk over towards the main road over there, you get a bit of signal. So I'm going to walk over there in a minute and do a couple of Instagram posts. Well, we've got the heat on in here, we've got the beers going, we've got the dinner coming up soon. So I'm just going to get in the van and chill, and it's cold! All right. Oh, I'm really enjoying this trip. I'll see you in a bit. This is why no overnight parking signs are going up everywhere. People just try, look at this, look at this, look at this. <clears throat> look at this beauty, right? Look at this beautiful scenery. And then that, some scum, some piece of shit drives past, chucks a hoover out. It's just disgusting. Bits of car bumpers. Plastic bottles, food wrappers. I'll be picking these bits up before we leave. Have a little wander around, see what stuff I can take with us. It's just, make sure you all do it guys. If you park up somewhere and you see some rubbish, just pick it up. Leave the place better than when you found it. So we have just left that little spot. I did pick up that little bit of rubbish in the end, but. Yeah, I can't stand that. That's just minging. Uh, what's our plan today, Becca? We know what we're staying tonight. Uh, so what we've stayed before. Assuming there's no signs. Assuming there's no signs. Um, uh, but in the meantime, we're just gonna have a little drive, try and find a little village. Um, the only thing on our agenda today is to find a magnet to add to our collection. Uh -huh. I realise we don't have one here. Um, but that's it, so, as usual, no real plans, nice and easy, it's Monday, so hopefully everywhere will be a little bit quieter. Um, and yeah. That's it. This is the view we're at, looking at now, I don't know how, if you're picking it up on the other GoPro, but it's, it is an amazing place. Snowdonia is just beautiful. It's one of my favourite places. Spain, Scotland and Snowdonia are definitely in my top three before something top three places probably. So we 
stopped at this point before. Mm. This is a what is this? This is a, a Snowden viewpoint. Yeah, it's an, it's an official viewpoint. We only stopped here for a drink or lunch last time, didn't we? I think we just stopped to take a few pictures. Windy road. Busier than it was last time. It is busier. So last time we came to Snowdon was March 2020. Literally like two weeks before the country went into lockdown. And now it's September 2021. And obviously, just even though we thought it would be a bit quieter because schools are back. Um, and it, I mean, it's, it is quiet, but it's just busier than it was. Perfect. Oh, you know what this is? You know what I didn't do last time? Fly the drone. Um, what? <laughs> what's, wrong with, what's wrong with that? I don't know. Just... What? It's a good spot for you it. You lose it here, that's it. We didn't do Snowden last time, did we? And we definitely can't do Snowden this time because we we'll climbed it. Yeah, yeah, because of because of that. So uh, one day we will climb Mount Snowden. Uh, just had a bit of lunch, and now we're going to go to our spot for the evening. I think we're about I don't know half hour away from it. Got to upload a video for tonight, or um, or we we'll just do a live stream for tonight. Come on, sheepies. Move, sheep. Get out the way. Get out the way, sheep. <laughs> they don't like the sound. Move, sheep. Don't, scared. don't be scared. Oh, oh sorry, no. sorry. Whoa. He's alright, he's alright. More sheep. So we we're approaching a spot we stayed last there's, time we were here. There's the tower. There's the tower, yeah, yeah just there you can see it. 300 yards. So that gives you a completely full signal here, which is amazing, considering you're in the middle of nowhere. But I think it's a little bit of a private road, so I... I have, uh, look at the signs. 
uh, no, in a minute when we turn left, I think it only goes down to like a house or something. But um, yeah, we stayed here last time and I loved the spot. Take the next left, then turn left. That's public footpath. Public footpath road, yeah. What does that say? This is sheep country, please keep your dog on the lead. It's fine, it's no hassle to us. Turn left. Oh my goodness, I forgot this it was this bad. A quarter of a mile, your destination will be on the left. This, <laughs> this road will deter people. Oh look, it gets better up here. This road will de deter a lot of people. I'm coming further down to this spot. Look at this drop here. Ooh. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. Done. Look what they've done. <laughs> it, it wasn't just us, it was like quad bikers and stuff that used to go up that road up there. But they've put a big trench here to stop people driving up there. Well, there, are, there is still, I think you could have got there from further back, but I mean, should we take this as a sign that we shouldn't be stopping here? So there we go, that's another spot ruined. Yeah, our spot was just up here on this grass. There was a nice, easy slope here going up there. And now look, it's done a massive Some disgruntled local. Didn't like people parking here. Actually, to be fair, I think there's probably a lot of people traveling through lockdown who shouldn't have been traveling through lockdown, just coming up here in their vans and they... Oh, it's so annoying, what a shame. It's kind of tainted Wales for me now. Right side, it just means we have to explore new places. We're going to drive another hour now. Try and find another place to stay for the night. We'll see you when we get there. I do find it annoying those that ruin it for others. So yeah, those that travelled during lockdown when they shouldn't have and those that Trash. don't respect the area and leave it a mess it's just not fair and it does ruin it for those of us that do respect it and appreciate that people are kind enough to let us stay on their land in some cases and I mean, I mean Luke even picked up other people's rubbish this morning he hates leaving a place just in case people worry that it's us and yeah. just in case it deters them from letting people stay there again so it, it is a shame um, and it does mean that now when we just want to relax we've got to travel a bit more but oh it's really it tainted now. my view of Snowdonia now it's just I used well, to love coming here because you could just disappear into the mountains and pull over but there's bloody signs everywhere I'm not surprised I mean Wales are really strict with their lockdown rules they yeah. didn't want people entering the country at all and people obviously did. Well, they're, they're um, now losing tourism. They're now losing money. Um, yeah, they're going to deter people from coming here, and they're going to lose out on it. They're closed-minded. They didn't even think about other options. Yeah. There are other options. Create some airs in these places. Get some money. But no. Nope. Now so many people aren't going to be coming to Snowdonia. I guess their view is, if people can't wild camp, they're, they're forcing us to to pay to stay on a campsite which will just won't work for us, we'll just go somewhere else, won't we? That's but us. the issue will be if the rest of the country, like the Peak District is very strict on it, isn't it? Peaks, yeah, the Loch Lomond's a little bit strict in certain areas. Cornwall's quite a difficult place to... Cornwall's, it's just ridiculous. We all need to leave this country, <laughs> try not to swear, <laughs> try not to swear, and go to Europe. So let's all meet up in France, and we'll just do a massive convoy, all of us Brits, 
just disappear in our van. Because so. I won't piss the French off. <laughs> well, we'll only be in France until they get pissed off. Then we'll go to Spain and piss them off. And then we'll go to Germany. And then we'll... And by that time, the UK will have calmed down and we'll be able to do it again here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Anyway, we're leaving Snowdonia now. See you later. <laughs>
was a lot of driving. I ended up getting so annoyed with Snowdonia and parking places and then trying to get to that one place. We just abandoned Wales and Snowdonia <laughs> and we just, we've come to Shropshire now. <clears throat> we tried to park at another place that we used to park up. We've parked up once before. And guess what? New gates, new signs, no overnight camping. But we found a place down the road where there's a few vans parked. So we're just, we're just in here. I'll show it to you in the morning. But that hour journey turned into three hours. Yeah. So as we usually do, we always check our park up. We move the van, check underneath and make sure we haven't left any rubbish. Always leave without a trace. Sometimes I've even skimmed the stones. My tyres have made mess, you know, made tracks in the stones. But yeah, we left no mess. We're in the Shropshire Hills now and we are heading towards the Cotswolds. So they're going to make a stop at us Tesco before we get there. But quite a little spot wasn't it, it was very dark like here wasn't it, no light, mm. no natural light here at all. Yeah it was just, uh, we started saying something last night and then the camera died, uh, so I'm not sure how much we, we got, but we ended up staying in a place called The Bog, <laughs> in the Shropshire Hills, it's a little old mining village, it used to be, but um, it's literally just a car park, they asked for voluntary um, payment, you don't have to pay, um, there we is a, a car park, we put a few quid in the box didn't we? we? Did. There's a little car park across the way which clearly says no overnight camping or staying but where we were didn't have any signs like that and there were a few other camper vans, caravans pulled up weren't there? Yeah, three other vans. They were there when we got there. Just literally just slept. We watched a we watched a TV series like in bed didn't we? We watched Clarkson's Farm. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, we're heading over to Cot we're quite we enjoyed that series, Clarkson's Farm, and we're heading to the Cotswolds, so we may swing by and see if it's busy, but it's usually rammed. So uh, yeah, we're heading towards the Cotswolds today for our final night, and uh, that'll be it. Will we? Hello everyone, we are home, we've just pulled up. We didn't film much on the way home, because I never really do. It's not as exciting, is it? <laughs> no. Going home as when you're going Just to the trip. Back. So that trip was full of ups and downs. The ups were like the beach. I'm sure you've seen all the shots now. Yeah, the beach was fantastic. That was a great yeah. find, Becca. Did you find it? We kind of stumbled on it by accident. Yeah, we said but to... I was the one that was like happy to pay to go on it. Yeah, you were headed to that <laughs> town, just having a look around the town, and then I, it just we it happened. To, yeah, we found it was a happy coincidence. Mm. And uh, yeah, Becca did get her fiver out and pay, and I'm glad she did because it was it was a really nice spot. Um, but yeah, another couple of nice camp spots uh, spots we found to camp in. But yeah, I was really quite disappointed with the uh, no overnight parking signs that are sprouting up everywhere. We went there in March last time, March 2020, just before the first lockdown and the COVID everything. So yeah, we went there just before the first lockdown, and uh, yeah, what a difference since then. Now it's, where are we now? September 2021, so, so a year and a half later. A year and a half after all the lockdowns, all the COVID business, and yeah, it's, it's changed. I don't, I won't be going, I won't be rushing back there anytime soon now, because it was a bit of, yeah, a bit disheartening. But anyway, we had a great time, and we hope you enjoyed the video. <sighs> Tired now. Tired, exhausted, and I've got two days and I'm off to the Stratford show. One day, really, tomorrow. And then Friday I'm leaving. Anything to say? Did, what did you? What are your thoughts on Snowdonia? Um, it didn't ruin it for me like it did for you. Like we still found nice places. We never compromised. I don't think we just had to find alternatives. Sometimes we had to drive for a bit longer for an hour here or there. So. Yeah, that was the only part. I think one one day we we were hoping to be somewhere within forty five minutes. And like three and a half hours later, we we stopped for the night. So yeah, that that was just tiring. Yeah. When you're hoping to get somewhere and just relax, and we couldn't. Um, but that wasn't that that wasn't just to do with this this where we were stopping. That was trying to get to a stop, wasn't it? Yeah, um, yeah, that one was. <laughs> we went three different routes, and we just kept coming across closed roads and just couldn't find alternatives so that was the problem there so that that wore us out a bit um but on the whole the days were nice um and like i say we 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 always found somewhere nice to stay but it was it was a nice little break it was we've already planned plan the next one well 
while we've been away, we've planned the yeah. next one. We're going to be hopefully doing Scotland February, January, February. Sometime, yeah, February, March, maybe. Scotland or maybe Ireland. Yeah, Scotland or Ireland. I, hope, I think I'm leaning towards Scotland now. I know, I know I mentioned Ireland. Okay, I'm leaning towards Ireland. Oh. But we'll see. With the meet in the middle, we'll go back to Wales. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do Wales. But we've, uh, I don't know, we've just pulled up and I just sort of straight away said to Luke, maybe we can do one more little weekend away before baby arrives. Because mm. um, we've still got six weeks to go. Six weeks? So, um... Maybe there's enough time for just a Friday to Sunday. What, another little weekend in the van somewhere before baby? Yeah. All right. Should we sign off then? Let's. Thank you all for watching. Cheers, guys. Hope you guys. enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you again.